So hello everyone, there's Susie Baduzzi. There is little, little baby Rhonda, who fairly soon won't be the little baby anymore. And there is Princess Chloe. Here's Princess Chloe. Let me make sure my Wi-Fi is on. Uh, yeah, it is. What do you guys think? We're gonna talk about bloat. You know what bloat is? Good thing you don't know what bloat is. Um, hey, Laura. Laura's sleeping. We're gonna wake her up to talk about bloat because she knows all about it and I don't. Hey, Laura. Laura, you ready to talk about bloat? No, but I will. <laughs> we have a little time as we get building an audience here. There's little Chloe. So, she's not little. She, well, she's short. She's abbreviated. Look she's at her. Short. Um, Jeanette, it is a horribly scary thing to think about. Claire, yay, Margo. Yay. Um, by the way, books are back in stock at Amazon. Hi, Melanie. Well, they're, they're, they're shipping soon. They have dates. So, yes. Please, get, and people who had ordered them, um, uh, you know, on the back order have received them or, or getting shipping notices. So, um, yeah, poor, poor Laura. That's, uh, she's. She's exhausted and sick, and and there's Chloe, Chloe, fourteen years young. Where wherever you want, I, hopefully the poodles will be with us. All right, well, get, oh, poodles, get up, and we're gonna talk bloat, all things bloat. But we want to wish everyone happy holidays before we even start. So, um, you know, happy whole happy so. Yeah, it's all uphill from here. That's exactly right. So today is the shortest day of the year. Heading into summer. Yeah, we are heading into <laughs> summer. <laughs> you know, every day is closer to summer. So this is, so so get get little baby Rhonda up there. Get little Chloe, and why don't you? She is not little. She is a little little. She's she's short. She's short. Does it, doesn't short make her little? And Susie, what do you have to say? I think so I don't know if you guys have noticed, I, 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 I am live streaming directly from the event. So I finally got my Facebook straightened out a little bit. So um, Chloe, what do you say? Chloe's doing amazing. If you haven't watched the video I just oh, posted. Like a little pup. Yeah, she runs like, like she's, uh, she runs like she's three years old. So, Laura, we tell everyone about the little pup that we're thinking about getting. No. You're not going to tell them? No, we don't know. We haven't even been accepted by the group. Yeah, we had to put an application in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're reviewing. So, what were some of the questions they asked? All sorts of stuff. Like, you know, do we like, get... Would do, you agree to have your poodle professionally groomed every four to six weeks? And, like, our girls would groom her every four weeks? So, always have. Do they... Do they... It might be a good transition. Do they talk about bloat at all? Um. But anyway, so why don't we start with how we found out about bloat? Because even we didn't know. We both grew up with poodles, and it is poodles are one standard poodles are one of the breeds it's most common in. Neither one of us had ever heard of it. Um, Chloe's mother died of it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Bianca. That's how you and I found out about it. Oh, I apparently I forgot. Yeah, apparently, and that's why you and I got very nervous about it. So, and it's common in standard poodles and other large chested dogs. Anyone Can everyone hear? Do, uh, you, do, and we don't know that much. I mean, I'm not a vet. You're not a vet. We just know basics. I mean, I've talked to people who it's actually happened to their dogs. Um, Hold on one second. I want to make sure that everyone can hear. Um, <coughs> Jeanette, Claire, someone give a thumbs up if you can hear. You need to get closer to Laura. All right. Um, okay. So I was hoping so to get a... Well, uh, you have to... Okay. All right. So we found out about it when Chloe's mother died from bloat. And what it is, is their stomach fills up with gas and twists. And it, um, when it happens, it's apparently one of the most painful things that can happen to a dog. Or uh, an animal, any, yeah. When I we're mean, talking about canine bloat. Right. And um, you have 
a matter of hours or less to get them to the veterinarian. With Chloe's mother, they were in New York. Um, they were Bianca. down the street from the emergency vet, and they got her there immediately, and she didn't make it. Now I, I don't know why I have no here. recollection of that. Uh, that's how we learned about blood. I remember we learning never, about it, but I, I... That was Bianca died of it. Um, and I talked to, out walking the poodles one day, a guy who had two standard poodles who, they live in Palo Alto, and it happened to one of their two. They bought that silver one and another one, and he described it. I mean, they, they saw the dog was in huge distress, went to the vet, and that's what it was. And it's usually for, for dogs with big, huge chest. Mm -hmm. and, and Larger it, chested Large dogs. chested and, and larger like I said, dogs. standard poodles. It's Notorious. Of, yeah. So what we did, um, after Chloe's mother died, we talked to our vet, and we got the girls at that point um, called a gastropexy, where they um, basically attached the dog's stomach to the wall of They tack abdomen. it. They literally yeah. tack it down. And so that it cannot twist. So it can still bloat in that it can still fill with gas, but it can't twist. So without the twist, you're fine. So you literally suffocate. They suffocate it, themselves. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a horrible, it's horrible. thought. Of it's thought. just horrible. So didn't they do it microscopically or laparoscopic. something? Laparoscopic. <laughs> so they did it laparoscopically, um, which was relatively new back then. Um, and I will never forget um, Chloe. We scheduled them on consecutive days. Um, so Chloe. We freaked out. I Chloe remember went, like yeah, we got Chloe them all. went first. And we had three puppies. And she stood up the entire night after surgery. We helped oh, her lay yeah, down. Right. She bounced back. She, was, she stood she up She slept all standing so up. So Marco like, goes the next day. The awesome and amazing Margo. Do hers. And she might as well have just gone and gotten her hair cut. And it was the same thing. Chloe and Margo were spayed together. Because, I mean, they're two months apart. And I remember we came home from the vet, or I did. You were at home because we were having some trees put in the backyard and they hit the gas line. Oh, I remember that. And so I picked up Chloe and Margo at the vet, had to park all the way down the street. I couldn't even get near the house. And because there were fire engines and all sorts of the gas company, like everybody was there. And now we're not talking about blue, but. So I opened the back of the car to lift them out. Um, and Chloe, like a prince, I, like, I carried her. Margo jumped right out, ran <laughs> home, and I carried Chloe. But Chloe but, was amazing after her bionic kit, oh, so, yeah. so oh, know. you know, let's not... And Margo, right? But, so, anyway, so after their um, gastropexy, Chloe stood up all night, but then she was fine after that, and Margo was perfectly fine right away. She literally she, slept standing up. Yeah, she would not lay down, and I'd help her down, and she'd stand back up. She was so afraid. But um, these two... Um, the clowns? The clowns. Um, we had theirs done while they were being spayed. So was, and that's what we've managed to do. Yeah, because we knew about it. And they have to go under or something. Exactly. Right. So the fewer times you have to put them under, the better. And um, I don't recall what it costs. Yeah, I'm sure but a lot of people might be interested in that. One thing I do know is, and well, they'd have to ask their veterinarian because it's going to be different everywhere. And to do it microscopically is the best. Same thing. No. Well, so, if they're being spayed, it's they do it when they make the incision, so it's a little different. But the thing is, doing it um, prophylactically is a lot less expensive than if you have to have the emergency. Surgery. Oh, absolutely. And also, you're not paying your dog in that horrible distress where they could die. So if you have an older dog, like let's say, you know, standard poodles usually live 12 to 14, except for poodle Chloe. Princess and Chloe. Princess Chloe, who was going to live to 100. Um, if you have like a six-year-old dog, uh, a poodle, and uh, I mean, you know, basically it's a, it's an odds game. I mean, literally, you can go out for dinner, mm -hmm. and it and it could happen while you're out. Your dog will will be. It could happen while you were in the shower and you didn't hear it. Right, and 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 you might not hear it at at all. It could happen, you know, literally. You can you know, sleep. And I don't know what the percentages are. I mean, I don't I think don't it's know high. You know, I th is it genetic? Like, if you're, if if you yeah, know I it. So. We were just so worried when because it happened to Chloe's mother. So we do it for all all of yeah. ours every and time. Gets, um, the next puppy, we will do the same thing. But if you're hearing about this now and you have any concerns, talk to your vet. I mean, honestly, you know, it, it, it's going to be a. It's just whether you want to take the risk, and we don't make any judgments whatsoever. But if you're, it's six years old. You know, if it's, I don't know. 
And there's uh, always a risk if a dog has surgery. I mean, that's yeah. why it's nice because we get our girls spayed no matter what. Well, because we would not. Want so what? 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 To what someone asked. So let me look at some of the questions. Someone asked what causes it. it um, so it's, um, they don't know. And they don't know if it twists first or fills with gas first. And then Renee says a way to keep the odds down is don't allow them to run around playing after eating. Really? Is, is that is that, that, that is that? one thing I've heard that it's kind of like with little kids, like don't swim. Sometimes it's dogs who eat very quickly. Um, so sometimes, you know, you'll put the wow, stuff I, the, I was going to laugh at this. in their bowl to make them eat more slowly. Jeanette eat says don't off, feed my right. dogs a half hour after they are mm -hmm. outside. You know, and they cannot play or drink water for one hour after they eat. And I also feed them from the floor. Why, why would that be so different? So that I've heard both. We feed ours in elevated bowls. And that, it's gone back and forth. And we talked to Maggie Laney, um, Susie and Rhonda's breeder, about this. Um, because she had was of the school that you feed from the floor. We feed elevated because there's also the theory that when they're standing up, they eat more slowly and it's more comfortable for their back and everything. If there's there are very different views it, it's something everybody should talk to their own veterinarian about it i just know for us after chloe's mother bianca died of it we were both so nervous so someone asked whether we have insurance we do not now why why don't we explain um, it, 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 we well years ago when we looked into it it was relatively new well i don't know how new and it didn't cover Everything. Yeah, so basically, we looked and into it. Kinda... You know, uh, uh, when Margot, I think no, when, no, no, oh, no, no, no. you know, we did the math, and 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 by the time you you, you look at the deductible and and you do the math, I mean, <laughs> listen, if it, if it made financial sense, the insurance companies wouldn't do it. So I mean, I mean that's and and in our case, we're, you know, we if something were to happen, you know, we could afford. You know most things that happened to our dogs, what we did with Margo. and Margot. Most of the stuff with Margot would not have been covered. I mean, maybe the eyeball, the eye, eyeballectomy. What do we call it? The eyeballectomy. So. Um, yeah, but and I know um, dog insurance. It's changed over the years because it's been years since we actually looked at it. We should probably consider it. We could probably even get the. I'm curious if other people have insurance. That be that be something we can learn from everyone here. Um, and we can we talk about the puppy? Not until they accept our deposit. There's there's no deposit yet. She hasn't even gotten back to us after that very long application. I know. So Lori said the symptoms are not always the same. Yep, exactly. So it's weird. I mean, like, look, yeah. we just started panicking after we heard that. We're like, okay, she she she's got a look in her eyes. She doesn't and look like weird. she's. Chloe, use the poodle door. Chloe, use the. Is she going to let her go out there? You let her out. You let the door open. Chloe, use the poodle um, door. It's weird, though. Having I'd never heard of it until it happened to Chloe's mother, and I've since talked to two people whose poodles have had it happen. Oh, really? Um, It happened. Um, Milo had it. Um, uh, I didn't know. Yeah. Wow. Margo, Did Milo do Margo again? Margo and Richie were out of town. They happened to be bored. And so they observed oh, really? it there and got him immediately into surgery. Insurance does not cover bloat, so, so says yeah, Jeanette. Yeah, that's doing that's it crazy. prophylactically. Whoa. So it may cover the prophylactic part. It doesn't cover... What's pro... Uh, Prevent uh, preventative. Okay, so that, I'd so be surprised that... Like we do. I'd it, be surprised if it would cover well, you know, like, preventatively. That's a lot less than the emergency surgery. Yeah. That's crazy. If, 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 see, that's the point. If insurance doesn't cover right. emergencies and, and, like that, what's well, the point of it? Thing when you and I looked into it, the first time, like I said, it was so long ago, it didn't cover enough to make it make worthwhile. What, uh, yeah. So, well, this has been really interesting and informative. Let me let me read back everyone's comments. You want to talk about the puppy? No. Chloe would like you to open this door. Susie. Walk around the corner. Chloe, you're not going to walk around the corner? Oh, Susie's doing are you? Yeah, she did. Susie. Yeah, Su she doesn't like me. On she command. Doesn't what, what? Susie. Why do we have this huge thing over the dish tank? Because uh, it's reminding me to change the water in there. Oh, that's, I guess, like a pop up on your computer. Yeah, like a, a, a note. It's, it's my version of a sticky note. Jeez. Um, 
Princess so, Chloe would like you to open the door. Just really? She's yes. not going to go around into. She is not going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to see if she's going to go around. Chloe, come on, Chloe. Come on. Come on, Chloe. Chloe. Okay. What was she doing that was so cute? Oh, with the running? And we have a lot of those videos. You should see them. It's amazing. All right, so um, we're going to try to do more, like, informative things like this, if you guys like this. We're not experts. We're not experts. No. We have dogs. Right, Princess Chloe? And we'll do, like, if you guys can right here, you know, any ideas, like, what we feed them and... You know, you know, the exercise, how we train them when we get a new puppy. You know, we should probably make sure that we train them. Pro this is an interesting thing here. We have no idea why this happens. Chloe, let's... save that for another. All right, so I'm going to... Um, let's, can we say a, Can we say a little something about little Margo? Yay, Margo. Books are back in stock or almost. They're shipping. Yes, go to yaymargo.com. And we know we're going to be doing a lot of changes after this weekend. Yes, the, the, the website's going to be completely updated. All right, bye-bye, um, everyone. Thank you.